The 25th Variety Bash is here at Parliament and the 25 years has been one heck of a journey. And speaking of journeys, on this bash we're on our way from New Plymouth to Auckland. Join me, Mark Wright and Susie Cato on the 25th Trillion Variety Bash. Variety, the children's charity, had its roots in a theatre in Philadelphia in 1929 and today helps disadvantaged kids all around the world. In New Zealand, Variety's work began 25 years ago with a hiss and a roar when the popular bash concept jumped the Tasman to light up the faces of Kiwi kids. I'm proud to have been associated with the bash since then and the wacky way it raises awareness of Variety's work. The Penelopes, Virgil and Parker are ready for the day, the first day of the bash. And what a wonderful way to start the day with a very special presentation to Sydney Maxwell. Tonight you organised through the Rotary Club uh, $2,000 to go towards the cost of the bike and uh, Variety came in with the other 2000 They are imported, uh, the absolutely amazing. Apparently it completely folds down and once you remove the battery, uh, it actually only weighs 14 kg and uh, it can take a weight uh, of up to 145 kg so I can ride on it. <laughs> <laughs> Especially in the shopping malls and that, I can take this into the shopping mall instead of using my wheelchair, which is cool. I think it's really good having um, organisations work as joint ventures. Everybody throws a bit at it and, you know, we get the end result. One happy kid. That's what the bash is all about. Very, very special. Well, we better get on the road. Parker, if you wouldn't mind, the honours, please. Five. It's a great start. Sydney's special trike epitomises what this is all about. Along the bash route, dozens of grants will be handed out to recipients who have been identified for or requested help in various ways. Funding comes from the bashers themselves who have spent the last 11 months raising an entry donation of $2,000 each. This week is about celebration and seeing just where the money is going. Right now though, we're going south and the weather's not on our side. Mind you, it's not just the rain getting everyone wet. In true bash spirit, putting the fun back into fundraising, we've stopped off at a farm. <laughs> Impromptu stops are commonplace. Brightly painted cavalcade is a kid magnet on a wet Saturday afternoon. We saw some kids standing outside a community hall and we've come in and here they are so the bashers can give them their giveaways. It's actually a wedding, it's the day after the wedding. Helen, this is your wedding and we've gate crashed it. Sorry about that. It's okay, we'll forgive you. Are you okay? Does this sort of add something to it for the kids anyway? It does, yep, definitely. And who's this? This is Paige, my friend's little girl. Uh, she's showing off the cap that she's just been given, the higher yeah. cap. Hey Helen, congratulations on the wedding and sorry to gate crash, but I hope we've added something else to it. Okay. Day one of the 25th annual Trillion Variety Bash may not have all gone to plan, but you have to say it's been pretty incredible. What is incredible is the number of water fights on the bash. With a dozen fire trucks, many of them operational, some form of water fight is never far away. Departing our overnight stop at Ohakia Air Force Base is far from a dry affair.
The bash enjoys generous support from the RNZAF's mechanical workshop team, deployed each year to ensure these old cars stay on the road. Some of them are over 45 years old, 50 years old some of them now, so um, yeah, there's a lot of little niggly things that are easily enough fixed on the side of the road if you've got just the right amount of gears. and. Um, if it's too major then we can usually stitch things up just to get to the next major town and borrow someone's workshop. Everyone seems to be pretty accommodating around the country. For that it's also a great fit for the AA. I think it's a community thing. The AA is out there in the community um, you know, delivering what it can and helping what it can. After all we are a club and we are a member oriented base and, and very well community feel and uh, for us to get involved in a motoring organisation, because that's who we are, um, it's a real positive for us and, and uh, we just like to muck in and do our part. Bruce Davies loves it so much, he's become a basher himself. Teams come in all shapes and sizes and numbers. From the all-girl duo from Aussie in the Cupcake Mini to the Fishpot Cafe entry, a dual steering 70-foot extension ladder fire truck imported from Los Angeles. This morning, the trip to breakfast is short and sweet. We hitched a ride with the Fishpot Cafe truck and we ended up at Clifton Street School and we met a very special young lady, Ella. Now Ella, you're receiving one of our cheques today, what are you receiving it for? Swimming lessons. And you're doing something very special with your swimming lessons now. You're doing the special... Olympics. And representing Manawatu, what an absolute star. It's the Thunderbirds kite flying competition that's the star attraction this morning. Teams having to build a kite from a still shop plastic carry bag. Oh. There you go. Actually, it's a mixed bag, really. Some work and some don't. This year, there's a couple of new teams, and our resident team profiler, Mark Hellier, went in search of one of them. Team captain of the NYPD, Big Willie. Big Willie, you guys are Virgin Bashes uh, 2015. We are. What attracted you to the bash, pal? This, this vehicle is starting to attract all sorts of attention. Mate, what uh, attracted us to the bash was the Southern Dash that we were involved in uh, last year. And man, did we have a great time doing that. Opened our eyes up, seeing that there was a lot of gaps needed filling around New Zealand, helping Kiwi kids. So here we are now doing the main bash. Awesome. And the car itself, mate, you want to tell us a little bit about what it is and, and perhaps any modifications that you've made to it? I know that you've uh, spent a lot of time on it. Yeah, we have spent a bit of time on it. We found it down in Invercargill, had to get it driven back up into Tauranga. From there, we've then cut and polished her, new brakes, service, the whole lot. She's all ready to go and a lot of fun doing it, Mark. Absolutely, and I see that we've got a, a reasonable theme going here. What does the NYPD stand for, pal? NYPD, need your precious donation. So uh, please give it. We'll be happy to receive it. You've got a nice light bar up there. What else have you done to the interior? Uh, in the interior, we've had to just clean up a little bit. Sheepskins all through, as all the most should have. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, the light bar is great. We've got a siren under the bonnet. Just all the stuff that makes the kids laugh and have a good time. Main sponsors, we're four small business people. And uh, we've dug deep in our own pockets, but we're also... Our, um, People that supply us with product have given us uh, product to carry on and try and raise more money for variety. Glenn's involvement, ironically, is through his son Mark, who suffers cerebral palsy and first came on a bash two years ago, thanks to Mark Hellier. Now he's got his dad involved. And ironically, that makes his dad a virgin. A bash virgin, that is. David Drake, though, is far from a virgin basher. A long-standing basher, a long-standing bash team, Dave. What brings you back for the for the 25th bash? Well, I've done so many now, and I think this is the 18th, and it was the 25th, so I thought, well, you've just got to come back and do another one. I didn't intend to, but here we are. It's a pretty hard thing to get away from, isn't it? Definitely. Once you're a basher, you're always a basher, I think. So I brought my wife and daughter along this time, and we're having a great time. The vehicle itself, Dave, can you talk talk through what exactly we have here? Well, it's a 1965 Ford Fairlane. It was, um, had done a couple of bashes before we bought it. We bought it in 1995 and did our first bash in it in 1996. Um, yeah, so she's three on the tree. Um, it started off its life as a, uh, a cocky's car in Stratford and then a cocky's car in Hunterville. And then a, a, a Barry Hitchings from Harper Collins bought it, as a, did a couple of bashes in it, and took it back to um, put it back to a classic car, and we persuaded him to sell it to us. So we said we'd look after it, so we've tried to look after it the best we could. Uh, in Waiuru, the bash hands over one of Variety's most visual grants to a small school in the Ohakuni region, home of the sub-bus team. 
So congratulations, and it'll be really good because this is a fantastic environmental school. Kathy does a lot of work with the children about the environment and looking at the science of it. In terms of the 25th Trillion Variety Bash, this is possibly the most important and special moment. What we're seeing here is a Variety Sunshine coach being handed over to Ngamatia School. Ngamatia School is very, very isolated, it has nine students on its roll. Ministry of Education doesn't want to close it down because those students live so far apart they can't actually get to another school and the Sunshine Coach will make a huge difference. The Principal, Cathy, has been using her own car to transport the kids all around. This is where the bash makes a difference to local communities in a way that simply can't be calculated. The bash's long-standing partnership with Ford New Zealand has been so enduring that several years later some coaches are now being redistributed back into small communities like this one. For the parents who don't have reliable transport themselves, uh, this will be a godsend um, because they have felt a little uncomfortable that the teacher has had to pick up their children. Um, not that I've minded, but it'll be much better. We have a person that's prepared to be the bus driver and so that will actually free up um, myself and the other part-time teacher so that the time that we were spending uh, transporting children to and fro from school will be um, taught preparing um, the lessons. Variety's relationship with Ford is not the only commercial partnership. The warehouse also teams up to help provide tablets to schools. The payoff is amazing. William Kia ora. We are here on behalf of Shannon Stool to thank you all for coming and gifting us with some iPads and Chromebooks. We will use these tools for learning and this will help us engage our learning focus even more. This will also grow young minds for many years to come. It is a pleasure for us to have you. I'm sure I'm not the only basher with a few tears in their eyes. To hear these kids speak and speak so clearly and so well and talk about their future, it just, it just touches your heart and your eyes. The increase in technology will bring the children into a modern generation. Soon there will be no books and all of the learning will be online. When you leave, you can leave with your heads lifted up and know that you've just helped us to dive deeper into our learning and took us a few steps closer to reaching our ho hopes, dreams and aspirations. Also, you have made children smile, learn and enjoy school more. Again, a big thank you and we hope this will last for a very long time, even maybe reach 100 years. Yeah. Hopefully we will see you next time. Nō reira, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. Kia we believe that strong businesses need strong communities and strong communities need strong businesses. They're interdependent and um, every business has a, has a place in helping the communities that they're part of be strong. So it allow more children to have access to one-on-one -on -one digital devices, which is really important. Um, you know, we're moving into that world, we recognise that and we can just see you know, real benefits from the children already. So it'll, yeah, it really, it'll add to the children who already use them. For the second time today, Susie's glasses fog up, but for a very different reason. The team on the phone truck, that's Friends on a Mission, is up to no good. But it's all in the name of the kids, Susie. Massive day and so many highlights. Wairu Army Museum this morning, amazing. And of course the ability to hand over a sunshine coach, very, very special to a school with just nine students. And then this afternoon, for the drivers on the bash, something really special. The Akatarawa Hill Road, 28 k's of winding, torturous bends. It's only one lane wide, but there's two lanes of cars. Professionals. Yes. Good morning. Another beautiful day in Wellington. Just perfect 
for the bash, of course, but also for an outdoor breakfast with the lovely kids of Lyle Bay Primary School. They have looked after us so well, and they are just gorgeous. Now, we haven't got too big a day today. Off to Masterton with a few stops, lots of schools, and a very special appointment with the PM. Our Australian superhero import Super Hubert catches the attention of John Key. Well. I'm the ambassador. <laughs> Are you? Oh, okay. Well, yeah. well yeah. hello, Your Excellency. <laughs> so you're really the Prime Minister? Oh, yeah, well, no. <laughs> Why don't we double, but Peter will, Peter will uh, explain it. Over the years, Variety's attracted plenty of media personalities who share the same passion for helping Kiwi kids as ambassadors, they're the front line for Variety to showcase itself to the world. Prime Minister, I'd like to introduce you to two of our ambassadors, Susan yep. Cato Hi, and Susan. Mark Wright. Nice to see you yep. Hello. Hi, Mark. How's it going? Nice to see you. Susan. And yeah, Simon, they do wonderful work for us in the background right yep. through the year. Hi, okay, so, fantastic. Just like kids. So where did your road show start? In yeah, Plymouth on Saturday. Peter Drummond might be the chief on the Fishpot Cafe fire truck, the only team to have continuously taken part in every bash, but he's also the president of Variety International, the parent body to Variety New Zealand. Lucky for us, he's a very keen basher. It's great to be part of it. I've been to a number of you know, charity events along the way, and it's, like, it's just a fantastic cause, and there's so much energy, enthusiasm, and people are happy. And Lyndon Tamblin from the Bulls team is happy too. He's managed to press some of his Bulls sauce into the PM's hands. Unbelievable. All the commotion outside the Beehive has drawn out Minister for Disabilities Nikki Wagner to share in some bash spirit. Uh, these are people who are doing things that they care about. It's for a great cause. They're having a good time and everybody's coming along. So you can't do much better than that. Thank you boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, uh, apologise for using the whistle but we're spending a week on the road and I have to shout everywhere I go so I tend to blow my whistle to get your attention. I just have to make sure first of all that we're at the right school this morning because we're visiting so many schools. So what school is this? Oh come on, I'm sure you guys can make more noise than that. What school is this? Well, my name's Mark, and I'm an ambassador of Variety, the children's charity. And what you see behind you is just about one third of our Variety Bash of this year. We're travelling around the country raising funds to help children in New Zealand. And as we go, we're also distributing the funds and making grants to deserving children, whether they be sick, disadvantaged or disabled. The kids at Taita Central School get a lesson in the bash, but it's the lesson from Super Hubert that's their favourite. Oh, would you like me to stay here all day so you don't have to go back to class? Despite the temporary ill-fitting super suit, thanks to his luggage being lost en route to New Zealand, Super is just that to the kids, super. I just take one card, the ace, leaving the king, queen and jack up there. And the one card, the ace, I place there, see? Now see these cards? I place my hand over them. Have they gone? Yes. Yes. No, they haven't. I'm not that good, kid. They're still there, right? Watch this, though. Watch this. With all my power, I cover them up. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to squeeze them and squeeze them and squeeze them. And squeeze them. And squeeze them. <laughs> see, I squeeze the cards because look at them now, see? Oh! See why I kept one back? To show you the difference, see? Oh! Would you like me to do that again? Yes! Yeah! Right. I take the cards. And what do I do? Squeeze it! And 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 squeeze it! Look at my little nail, look at that. It's here at the school visits that the fire truck swings into action. This time it's teacher Robin Fairbrother strapped to the ladder, much to her pupil's delight. The chanting is music to Peter Drummond's ears. His sponsor, White Goods Manufacturer Hire, has made 10,000 caps to give away this bash, so none of the kids we visit this week will go with him. A byproduct of travelling Aotearoa is the scenery. 
The Rima Tuckers are renowned for the spectacular climb out of the Wellington Basin. It's only a short drive to Masterton, but turn right and you'll head to the southernmost point of the North Island, home to fur seals. Cape Palliser is also home to one of the region's oldest lighthouses. Originally lit in 1897 and manually fueled by oil, these days it's electric and fully automated. Nearby Nawi is a unique site with bulldozers lining the beach. It's the only way to launch fishing boats from the tiny settlement nestled in Palliser Bay. Well, this morning we're in Napier, the Art Deco capital of New Zealand, in the sunny Hawke's Bay. Although it's not that sunny, it's a bit damp underfoot. Last night, though, a fantastic meal up at the Mission Estate Vineyard, where Argus won the Most Points of the Day award. <laughs> what for? I have no idea, neither do the officials. We head to Tauranga today via Taupo. The Westie GT limo is back. Sadly, no Ewan Gilmore, but his memory is well and truly at large on the bash. His brother Lyle and former teammate Ed Finn, joined by Rich Manick and Taryn Moenby, have dug deep to be here to honour one of our most enthusiastic bashers. We need to get out here on the road again. We're down a team member. We thought we'd get another Gilmore to fill, the, fill Ewan's yeah, shoes. Good call. And oh, he did have Ewan's jandals on the other day. <laughs> Well, he has filled you in yeah, shoes. Yeah. There we yeah. are. Yes. So we've loaded up the limo. Um, we were only able to get on the bash from about Wednesday night onwards, but um, we've been doing half a bash, but doing it twice as hard. So it's about a full one. What is it that you boys are looking to get out of the, you know, the, the, the last couple of days of this variety bash? Um, the grants, actually. Yes. We've um, we've worked hard on the grant situation. Grant Dalton. We've um, been in touch with him. There's some other grants that we're thinking about getting in touch with, mm. and we'll we'll present some more grants later on. Nice, nice. You're not going to change skipper on us, are you? Well, Dean's looking for a new gig, I've heard. And it seems we have another celebrity joining in mid-bash. Well, I finally caught up with the bash. Um, good to be here. Good to see all the, uh, see you all the old mates again. Caught them in Napier this morning, and we, uh, we left uh, reasonably early and, and reasonably nice weather to, uh, to head to Tipperary School, where we delivered a beautiful printer and, and met some great, uh, great country kids. It was really fun. Yeah. It's, so, it's like the best of my life. Then it was off down the Napier Taupo Highway to lunch at Taupo, where, uh, where that uh, kind of had its, um, had its ups and downs and, uh, and, a, and a 70 foot drop for some of our bash members, which went, uh, which went really well. And then it was uh, from there uh, on to Rotorua, and everything started to go downhill as far as anything went the weather, the entertainment. Yes, it was the luge, and the luge was absolutely fantastic. The highlight of the luge trip, of course, was the daily double between uh, Elmo and the Bull. Uh, at last sight, it was Elmo uh, leading the pack going into the final corner. No Bull. On Matakana Island, the Trillion Variety Bash doubles the local population, making a huge impression on the local school. Thanks to Resine Construction Systems, we're painting the island red and much, much more. I really do like my job. Make some noise, come on! We're painting the inside of the library and we're painting a really nice sort of lilac colour. Just sort of brighten up a wee bit and we're also painting all the tables you can see over there. And they're doing a marvellous job of doing all that painting. So we've got about 15 or 20 people just doing painting. Nice, and there's plenty of stuff going around outside here today. Everybody seems to have bought their expertise to the table. Um, you, you can look around and see everybody sort of contributing in their own way. Um, you know, th those, two, those two trucks came in last night, refitted themselves as, uh, as dump trucks so we could bring everything out to the island. When you're finished, can you make it look pretty? <laughs> Isn't it special just bringing stuff out to a place that's, that's reasonably isolated? The kids don't get to see a lot, a lot of this kind of stuff. And, and what a, what a very special experience for them. Well, they don't. They, you know, the, to get see something like this, you'd have to go to, to Tower on itself. You know? and, and for us to come here, we bring a lot of fun, a lot of laughter, and uh, I think the kids are going to enjoy themselves today. So on the bash, it's not all hard work. We're here on a golf course, but not to play around, but to play, have some fun. Four disciplines. First one here, the drive. Stop it! This one's slightly unconventional. It's foot golf. 
much larger balls and much larger holes. There's the maxi putt as opposed to the mini putt. This is sometimes referred to as the sandcastle building competition or the chip. And what's usually frowned upon on a golf course, the golf cart racing. No, I don't think she's got a driver's license. Good fun though, good fun. The sun rises on the final day of our journey and the 25th anniversary Trillion Variety Bash is on the home straight, having raised almost $150,000. We've travelled more than 2,000 kilometres, visited more than 4,000 kids in 26 schools and along the way distributed $65,000 in grants to individuals and communities. Dozens of books, iPads, computers and other equipment have been handed over to those who need it most. Bash is always doing it with genuine passion and always with a glint in their eye, never missing an opportunity to have some fun. It's fundamental Bash spirit. It's the fun in fundraising. Trillion Variety Bash sure does that as this journey and story come to an end. We've made it the end of another fantastic bash. 25 years, the 25th anniversary bash. What a milestone. What an absolute milestone. It's been brilliant. Behind me, all the groups, all the teams and the visitors too. And of course, the children. This is what it's always all been about. Making it fun for the kids. If you want to be part of the bash, you've seen it go past. Really, just get in touch. It's an experience I can promise you, you'll never forget. We're at our shoulders, our knees, and can you find your toes? Come on, boys in the back. Guru <laughs> Fa. Heads, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Heads, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes.